Hello again everybody. It's time for our craft session now, which is one of my favourite bits of acorns. And we always explore the story that we've heard with some lovely creative stuff. And I'm all set up to do something nice and messy and colourful, all on the subject of our story today. So, do you remember? What we talked about in our story, we talked about this really lovely chap called Daniel, who was a friend of God. And the king told Daniel that he'd got to do something wrong, didn't he? And it was really hard for Daniel, but Daniel managed to stand up for what was right and he trusted God and he prayed to God and God gave him the strength to do the right thing, even when. It was really hard, even when he had to face the terribly terrifying, tall-teethed lions. And they became his friends in the end, didn't they? So here we are. Daniel's going to have a little sit down over here. I didn't really introduce you properly to my lion friends, did I? This, this is feet. And when my big boy Theo was a tiny baby growing in my tummy, we bought feet for him. And I think you can probably see why he's called feet. And so he's really special and he's very squishy and cuddly. And he's even got hair, a bit like Ruth. And then we've got, this is Lenny. And Lenny is also very special. Lenny comes from where I went to university and he used to belong to my granny and she gave him to me. And so he is a very, very, very special cookie, aren't you, Lenny? Yes. Now Lenny's just going to go and sit over here with Feet and Daniel, ready for our craft session. Now then. What have I got to help me with this craft? Now then, let's get going. Now the first thing that you need, mummies and daddies and grannies and granddads and grown-ups, is a cup of tea or coffee. This is essential, an essential ingredient. Go and get yourself a nice drink to have along the way. Look, my cup's got acorns on it. That's really special, or oak trees anyway, oak leaves. There we are. I'm going to drink of that oh. and put it to one side, out of the way. And now I'm going to make some paint. And I think today we need a nice yellow, because I think lions are quite sandy colours, aren't they? And I think yellow would be really good. Lots of yellow. mix some. I think we might need some orange and to make orange we need yellow and red. So now we've got some there and then I think we might need to do a nose. I think the nose probably wants to be a nice black. There we are. And might put some brown in as well and I found from experience that red and green make a good brown. So I'm going to put some there with a bit of black as well and these paints, these are very special paints because our lovely friend Christine owned these paints and so we have inherited them from her and we can get them out to do lovely crafty activities, can't we? Right, shall we do some mixing as well? Let's see what happens if we mix the yellow and the red. See if we can make an orange there. It's looking quite orangey, isn't it? Mmm, very nice and gooey and Messy. Now the really important thing when you're doing painting, I think, is to just to have a wonderful time and to 
explore and to create in a way that makes you feel really good. Don't worry what it looks like, just have a really fun time. So there we go, we've got some orange now, look, we've got yellow, orange and red. And then I think I'm going to see if I can make a brown over here, look. Now then. So I wonder what we're going to create with our lovely colours. I wonder what we could make that might have yellow and orange and black and brown. Ooh, that's a very dark brown, isn't it? Well, am I going to make a lion? There we are. It's quite brown. Not bad. Not bad at all. Right then. Now, what are we going to use to put our paint on the paper? Well, some of you might like to use a paintbrush, I suppose. But I thought I would use things from nature like fruit and vegetables because I thought that would be really fun and look what have I got. I've got a potato, I've got a mushroom and what's this? I bet you like this with your tea. A lovely red apple and I found a grape and I've got a bit of broccoli, that's very good for you, lots of vitamins in that and also a little bit of a tangerine. So we'll see what we can do, shall we? Now, mummies and daddies will probably need to do the cutting part of these vegetables, won't they? Because these nice sharp knives aren't very good for little people. So, I'm going to cut my potato into a triangle shape like this. And we'll see why in a minute. But first of all, I'm going to see if I can create a round lion's face. There we go. What do you think, Feet? What do you think, Lenny? Do you think we can do this? So, let's have a go. Oh, that's looking good. I think I might have to pick up my camera and just show you what it looks like. I'm trying to make a lion's face shape. Now then, Feet says it's looking very good because look, we've made a nice oval sort of a shape ready for turning into a face. Just like this, look. I'm using a fork to put my potato on because it makes it a lot easier and a bit less messy as well if mum's bothered about that. Right, what shall we use next? Well, I think we might use a bit of broccoli. Let's snip that in two. And look, the shape of this broccoli is just perfect for lion's hair, isn't it? So let's see what we can do with a bit of broccoli and a bit of brown. Some brown, some lions have got like brown bits of hair at the top, haven't they? So I thought we'd just experiment with some brown up here. There we go. That looks good to me. Yeah. Some broccoli. Now then, I think we're now. I think we're ready to do a mane. And here is my triangle. I'm going to squish it in that paint like that and then I'm going to see what I can make. Because on the lion, I think the mane goes all the way around, doesn't it? It goes all the way around, it goes around its chin and it goes around its mouth and it goes around its head. I love lions, I really do. Now, my husband and I, we are very, very lucky because we have been to Africa and we have seen lions in the wild where they live. And I think they are my most favourite animals in the whole world. Look, I'm making a mane. Looks like it's looking a little bit like a lion. 
think he might need a, a bit of a face though, don't you? I wonder what we could do for his face. I wonder what colour the lion's eyes are. Well, I wonder what shape they are. What have we got in our fruit and vegetables that we could make into a circle? Well, I think maybe the grape. There we go. Right then, let's see if we can do some eyes, because they're a nice round circle, those grapes, aren't they? And I think a lion's eyes are orange. Let's see what we can do. eyes are great at seeing at dusk and at dawn, I think, when they go out hunting. Oh, it's looking a little bit more like a lion, but I think we might need... What do we need to go here? Maybe a nose. And I think just perfect for a nose is a sliced up mushroom. Let's see what happens when we put this mushroom in the black. looking a bit like a nose isn't it but I think we might need to create a mouth with it too I've been deliberating on what to use for this and I think I'm going to use a bit of satsuma I'll just try and use its end Look. so let's have a line down the middle and then we'll have a line at the side, there, and we'll have a line at this side, like that. Well, I think that is quite lionish. What do you think? Hmm, I'm quite pleased with that. What do you think, Feet and Lenny? Hmm. Well, you can play as much as you like. You can do some more squishing. You can try and make a Daniel picture if you want to. Or you can try and make uh, a picture of the king or the advisor or anybody you like. Endless possibilities with paint. But I think for now I'm just going to stick at my lion. Whoever would have thought that you could create a picture of a lion like Daniel met in the lion's den with a mushroom, a potato, some broccoli, a grape. That was about it, wasn't it? Yeah, I think that's super. I wonder what yours looks like. Look, here's my lion. Oh, look at him there. He doesn't look too scary, does he? So, I would love to see some pictures of your lions and of anything else you've made. So you can send me some pictures, can't you, when you've done your creations. And I hope you have lots and lots of lovely fun and that it helps you remember all about the lions and all about Daniel, who was so brave, standing up for what was right. And you could only do that because he trusted in God and asked God to help him. So, we'll see you next time. Bye for now.